All right, so here a little word problem to go with our uh, integer examples. So suppose it's uh, negative 4 degrees at 6 a.m. at your home, so nice and, nice and chilly. And then let's suppose uh, it goes from negative 4 degrees and the temperature increases 20 degrees. But then by 6 p.m. it falls by 14 degrees. So it kind of makes sense, right? It's cold in the morning, it gets warmer, and then it cools off towards the end of the day. We want to know what's the temperature at 6 p.m. So let's see, it was negative 4 degrees at the start of the day, or at least at 6 a.m. Uh, and then, well, we would have to add 20 because we're going to increase the temperature by 20 degrees. But then we would have to subtract away 14 degrees because, well, the temperature falls. So what I'm going to do here, um, we've got negative 4 plus 20 minus 14. I'm just going to combine my first two numbers here, negative 4 and positive 20. And again, um, these are uh, opposite signs. Equivalently, you can think about this as being positive 20 minus 4 minus 14. So again, remember our, uh, these are commutative. We can just switch the order on these, and we'll still get the same thing. So I'm going to use that little property. So 20 minus 4, that's the same thing as 16. Then we'll have to still subtract away the 14. Well, 16 minus 14 is going to leave us with 2. So it says at 6 p.m. it looks like the temperature is going to be uh, 2 degrees Celsius. So a little bit warmer than it was at 6 a.m., but uh, still not whether you'd probably want to be at the, uh, you know, if it was 2 degrees Celsius, you probably wouldn't want to be at the beach, right? So, okay, so again, it, it, it increases, you know, so from negative 4 degrees, if we add 20 degrees, that means, you know, at 3 p.m. it's 16 degrees Celsius, but then it drops by 14 degrees, so that's going to leave us with 2 degrees Celsius total.